Hello everybody and welcome to my video about the base that I built. Now this particular base that I built um, is a naval base and one of the first things I'm going to tell you about my base is one of the things you're going to notice right away is where are all the defenses for the base. Well I play on a private server with my friends so I don't have to worry about that but if I were to make such a base on a public server of course I would have more protection um, but as it is right now we're just gonna go ahead and walk forward and this is my naval docking system as you see here we have my battleship yes I know it's blinding there's lots of lights I got my destroyers my support vehicles you see I have my aircraft carrier which has my top of jars with their tech armor and they're kind of like my jet fighters there over there you're gonna see my landing craft as I've shown you in other videos and uh, why don't we get to it so okay so we're gonna cut across here and this is gonna be a two-parter video <laughs> that's hilarious when all these birds do that all right let's get on Alyssa real quick let's take a little flight over this way so first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can get this elevator platform to come down. It doesn't always work. Oh good, this time it's going to work. Sometimes these elevator platforms are very finicky. And then we're going to get on top of that, but at least for now, we can take a look at the view. Alright, our platform is here. Just to give you guys an idea of just how massive this base is. It really does take a two-part video. Alright. Let's get out there and orb view. Just to give you a sense of just how big this is. Now, anybody who's played this game knows how incredibly expensive in resources it is to build elevator tracks so obviously I used uh, cheat codes to do this because this is a ridiculous amount of resources all right well welcome to the interior and this large cavernous area is what I would consider to put my dinosaurs in indoor storage I would make pens and all of those things, but for the purposes of this video, this is the main front of the base. Let's take a look at it. See, I built that nice staircase leading up into it, and you'll see the large door. All right, let's go back inside. All right. So this is my elevator shaft. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up. Welcome to the basement. As you can see here, another large cavernous area. What you would put down here, I'm not sure. But this is the main power generator of my base. It's very well hidden. So let's go ahead and let's go up. Well, that was floor one. Let's stop and go ahead and stop at floor two. Welcome to floor two. Immediately off here, you see that I have um, my workshop. It has everything you need. Now you'll notice this dinosaur gate right here. This is so you can fly in uh, with your animals. And if they've come from long range resource runs, um, you just bring them directly into the workshop so you can get down to melting metal or doing whatever else it is that you have to do. All right, let's continue. Now you'll notice this door right here. This is what I call my family suite. See, I have a little uh, fake stove here. See, I have a very crowded bedroom with storage little dining area 
little seating area and table. And, uh, yeah. So, it's a very, very small room. But, let's continue on. Alright, everybody. Welcome to the Dragon Suite. As you see here, I have a nice dining area, and I've mimicked L-shaped seating. But, let me show you some cool stuff. Okay. So, in here, this is the powder room, if you want to call it that. Or the, you know, this right here is supposed to make it look like you're in a shower. Obviously, it's not a real shower, but it mimics it. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, out here, you see I have the kitchen area. I have a nice view of my uh, naval yard. Let's come back inside. And I have two dragon heads, thus the name Dragon Suite. See, I have a chimney over here. I have some seating, a guest bed. Let's go inside the bedroom. Here, I have a nice little uh, toilet here. Obviously, I have a bed. Plenty of storage. So, that's really nice. And, you know, that's the first suite that I ever built. So, let's go. You're probably wondering, what are all these doors here? Well, these are just empty rooms that you could, if you had a really big tribe, you know, people could live and have their own little rooms. And you could rent the rooms to them for a certain amount of resources. It's just an idea in my head. But welcome to my room, which is known as the Waterfall Haven Suite. Over here, you see we have some a cool seating area. Okay. If you come this way to the left, you'll see we have the kitchen. So this is supposed to make it look like it's, you know, uh, a sink. Um, smithy, refrigerator, and I got an industrial grill. And it's kind of cool you can see through the industrial grill over to the dining area. But let me show you just how cool this is. Take a look at this view. I have a view of the waterfall. Uh, the ice mountain, the clouds are somewhat obscuring the volcano and, and the sunlight, but it's over that way. And I just think it's the, the night, and I have a view of the ocean. It's just, to me, it's the nicest view. All right, let's go back inside. And we'll continue the tour. All right. So we come this way. You'll see I have a double fireplace. Uh, more seating. But before we go in there, I have a little guest bathroom. Now we'll come into the main bedroom. See, I have a triple bed here. Over here, once again, I have the shower. Over this way, you'll notice I have the little bathroom for this particular suite. Now I'm going to show you guys the cool part. So we're going to go up here. Obviously, I got some nice storage. But you're going to notice I have this wooden area right here. Well, what's up with this? Well, welcome to my sauna. Now, obviously, this is not a true sauna in the sense of a sauna. So those of you who play ARC probably know how I did this. But those of you who have not, um, this has preserving bins underneath of this wood ceiling and so there has a steam that rises from uh, the preserving bin and now it mimics um, as if you were in a sauna so I think that's pretty cool it's one of the coolest things I ever came up with so yeah so my master suite has a sauna cool beans Now, actually, those paintings did actually have paintings on them, but anybody who's played Ark knows it's a glitchy thing, and they disappear. All right, let's proceed on. All right, this way we have my indoor garden. You'll notice this little ladder up here. I'll show you where that goes, but obviously this is where I have all my vegetables and fruits. So cool. They're all nicely planted and growing so let's go up the steps 
Over to my left here where I'm going, you'll notice once again there's lots of doors. Well, that's just more uh, areas for people to live. As are the doors up here, around here, all that good stuff. But let's go into this area right here. Welcome to the kitchen. As you see, I have many refrigerators, good storage. I got all kinds of stuff going on. This was my first sink design. Um, beer barrels, and let's go into the main dining facilities. So check it out, guys. It's a large dining room. Nice views and everything. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that is this level. And in the next video, we're going to go to the next two areas that I have built. So we'll see you on part two.